Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about how my ingrown toenail made me discover my artistic side. Alright, so... If you guys didn't know or haven't noticed, I've been posting on Instagram um, a lot of these pictures of doodles uh, that I made. And fun fun thing is, is that I've been doing that style of doodling for years now. Uh, I just never really told anyone, never really showed it off. It was just more something I did when I was really bored. Um, so as of late, I actually got really back into it, and I really enjoyed making them, and um, apparently you guys like it too, especially on Instagram. I streamed it once, you guys thought it was cool, so cool. Like, I guess I'm going to make this more of a prevalent thing. A few years ago, um, I'm staying at one friend's house, and uh, I trimmed my toenail. And it, I trimmed it way too short, like basically setting myself up for disaster. I don't know how I fucked it up that bad. I mean, it, it hurt when I cut it, and I was just like, yeah, I kind of fucked that up. So a couple of weeks go by, and I'm at canoe practice. Um, and one of my teammates says, dude, your toe is seriously fucked up. And I kind of looked down at it, like, it had been, like, calloused over, or, like, like, the skin had been pushed over the nail, and I thought it was just an infection or something. I didn't really give a shit. And I was like, damn, like that, that's, that's bad. <laughs> that is really bad. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll get it checked out. And so I just kind of like scrape off some gunk and put some peroxide on it and I left it at that. Now I'm at another friend's house and it's getting late and I decided to stay over. So we're playing video games and um, I'm starting to notice a pain in my toe. You know, we're like playing some zombies, you're shooting stuff up, and I'm just like, ah, what the fuck, my toe's hurting. So I like push the skin back um, off the nail, because that's usually what makes it feel better. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, okay, dude, my toe is fucking hurting. Like, what the hell? Like, I was in pain, excruciating pain. I started crying. I think the nail hit a nerve or something, because I was just like, oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> you know, I was just like, I was crying. I was in bad shape. So oh, after about 15 minutes of my friend going, what the hell is going wrong? And me going, I'm dying. <laughs> um, we finally get me to the hospital where um, the doctor who saw me looked as dead as I thought I was. Um, he was just like, the fuck kid? And yeah, he was just like, seriously, ingro toenail, emergency room at this hour. Fuck. Uh, and the entire time, I don't even care. I'm just like, ah, I can see the light. Mom, I love you. I love you. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> no, but, um, so they do the operation, and they fuck it up. Granted, this hospital here, uh, the hospital in Maui is horrible. Like, they, none of them know what they're doing. Um, it's a really simple operation. You cut the skin off peel the nail back or not like because it's like imagine i'm trying to think but this is a nail or this is a nail right so the nail's gone like this basically you know so you have to peel it back out cut off the extra nail and then put gauze in the wound and then wrap it up he did all that except for the gauze part then he wrapped it up so i got another ingrown toenail like a week later you know once the doctor actually got it fixed and stuff like that and now i have a really weird toe no, you're not going to be able to look at it. Fuck off. So during this whole process, um, I got really, really bored. So I asked my mom, hey, can you go get me some art supplies? I want to doodle. So I need a couple pens, a sketch pad. I'm good to go. Um, so by the time it took her, because she went off and did that, and my friend stayed with me. By the time she got back, I was actually already checking out. So we went back to uh, my friend's place. We continued to play video games. My mom went back bed she went home she's like fuck this i need sleep my idiot son is crying and dying over an ingrown toenail dying, dying. <laughs> yeah no seriously um i was just being a pussy but um so i'm sitting there like i don't i'm in too much pain to uh 
Not that I was in too much pain, but the drugs were like kind of affecting me. So like, I don't want to play video games. Um, I my toe feels weird. I'm just gonna draw. So I started doodling, and um, yeah, that's where it all started. Um, because I didn't know how to draw. I didn't. I don't know how to draw, like to this day. But the shit I come up with when I just zone out and doodle is kind of cool. Um. I, okay, I'll show you guys the first one I drew on the sketch pad. Uh, if you guys want to see all of these like in better picture quality, uh, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Wolfgang underscore the post. But like, like you see, you see, I don't know if this is, this is gonna. There we go. You know, like this. Like there, there was no planning involved in this. There was just like that. That happened. Boom. And the. <laughs> Boom! It just happened. Um, granted, there are some things like I do do to it. I tried to make them look 3D. Um, and I'll get into why I, I called it OCD. Um, this is one that Pixie drew. I fucking love it. But then, like, um, you know, shit like this. This is another one I drew. Um, this is one that I drew on stream. I drew this on stream. And then uh, I drew this one last night. So I call it OCD, and um, for two reasons, because it's like a double innuendo. Uh, it's an acronym that stands for Organized Chaos, or, or either Organized Chaos or Organized Chaotic Doodling. I guess proper English would call it Organized Chaotic Doodling, because if you really look at it, and I'm actually should be showing like a time lapse of me draw drawing on stream. Um, everything kind of meshes together. Everything sort of fits, uh, and it's really like, if you have OCD, quote unquote. Okay, no, if you actually have legitimate OCD, then this may piss you off. But you know, if the joke OCD, like you know, it looks pleasing. It's pleasing to the eye, and that was the whole concept of it. And that's why I really always like drawing because it was really pleasing to me, and it calmed me down because I was like, oh, this is just looks right to me and um and big, my biggest my biggest love of it is because it looks so different depending on how you look at it and it's like really 3d and geometric and everything's just kind of going in and out of the page so to me it looks really fucking cool um i also, sometimes like i promise i'll try too hard at something and it won't really turn out the way i want it to so i have to make sure i'm zoned out when i'm drawing because otherwise if i try to try it like try to do something um, it'll just end up looking really shitty. Uh, so, yeah, that that's that's the story of how I, um, yeah, how I did it. I don't know if this is still in focus or not. I really hope it's been in focus this entire time. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Tell me if you guys want to see more of this on YouTube. I'm going to be uploading the time lapse here on YouTube and on um, Vine. And, of course, you can guys can see um, pictures of them on my Instagram and stuff like that. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, make sure you love souls, love life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces!